A lonesome feeling comes through my door and the whole world turns blue. <laughs> we gotta get through this together. Norman, we assume you can't tell us very much about the Daryl spinoff. So, Josh, what would you like to see out of a Daryl spinoff? Um, I want to see Eugene join him. Mm. Yeah. Um, fighting crime. I don't know. There's, I mean, I think as we've seen in the Commonwealth, there's enough crime that I'm sure that uh, Daryl and Eugene could just uh, go off on their own and uh, like Starsky and Hutch. Yeah, I love Eugene's story this season. Really? Yeah, really. It's one of my favorite parts of the whole season. Is your Why didn't you tell me that before? I, I would have done better. I would have tried. I was being all angry method guy all year long. <laughs> now that we're in love again, I can tell you. Um, yeah, your storyline's great. Thanks, man. And you're a great actor, too. Thank oh. you, brother. You became such a badass. Like, from where you started on this show to where you ended up. A complete 180. Complete 180. I had no idea that we were going that way. I thought they were going to kill me uh, back in season five when he said he didn't have the cure. Mm. I thought that was it. I'm like, okay, I'm done. When you punch that dude in the face, that's my one of my favorites. Sebastian? Sebastian. Sebastard. Teo Rapp Olsen, who played Sebastian, uh, the incredible actor, but he made it really easy to... He has a very punchable face. Oh, there's no reason to be so rude, Hoss. <laughs> Hoss? Uh, you've made it very easy for me to punch him. He's very James Spader in uh, Pretty uh, in Pink. You're going to be late, buddy. They're making an action figure of you. What accessories does your toy come with? A Camaro and a little black kitty. A name for the little black kitty? Eye in the dark. Um, I think for me, I, I I would probably come with like a traveling bar set and like uh, like a make cocktails. Full oh, bar setup, yeah, like all the bitters, all the syrups and shrubs and that sort of thing. Do you have a specialty cocktail? I mean, there's so many. Is, uh, there's so it's not many. The man. McDermott, though. That the McDermott. Yeah, yeah. You're Just gonna the... get tore up on the McDermott. Were you able to steal anything from set? Oh, um, I got the mullet. <laughs> I took the. I kept the mullet. I mean, I, I had my hair actually in a mullet, but then um, they also clipped in extensions. Our department head, Taylor Knight, on like one of my last days, she called me into her trailer. She said, "Hey, come here. I want to give you something." She gave me my mullet. She said, here, baby, you can have the mullet. It was in a little box with a little bow on it, and uh, it was very sweet. You know, I walked off with my entire costume on my body and drove away from set, and I took another crossbow. But I have, like, nine crossbows now, which is a felony in Manhattan, but I have a bunch. <laughs> we find our moment, we take it. We're all big Stranger Things fans here. Same. What is the song that would save you from Vecna? Ooh. Uh, good question. Probably Cool Thing by Sonic Youth. I just, that was my high school jam. Either that or Goo Goo Muck by The Cramps. That was my other high school jam. Uh, Neon Moon by Brooks and Dunn. How does that go, by the way? Sing that. When the sun goes down on my side of town A lonesome feeling comes through my door And the whole world turns Blue. <laughs> Let's go have a McDermott and make out. Yeah, yeah, come yeah. On. <laughs>